It is now 10.30 and I thought that I would just check in. I'm gonna go and run through what I need to get done for work. I just finished designing some ads for our next launch. Um, and the next thing that I need to do is a color theory stories for social, which are my favorite to do. I'm really excited. And then I have some edits to the social feed because that's a new responsibility that I have and then making another story graphics for Black Friday. And also I have a meeting with my manager later this afternoon. I'm gonna go and continue working. spent some time journaling this morning and I want to talk about some things that I wrote. I've been hearing over and over again about the concept of having a desire and kind of trusting that that desire will come into fruition without having to hold on to it. I asked myself what are the desires that I have that I hold on to? I hold on to that desire of mine to find someone to love. But the truth is I don't really do much about it, it's just I think about it, I fixate on that idea and I fixate on the kind of person that I want to be in a relationship with or I want to love and I think that holding on to that then creates expectations and that then makes it impossible to move forward with that desire. I got fed up that's on invisible emotional labor that women have to do and hysterical and it's about hormones and stereotypes of women and mental health. Yeah. I got water shipped down because my friend actually has a tattoo of this because he said it was his favorite book so I have to read it and Lives of Girls and Women. James Joyce, Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, The English Patient, because I've only read the first chapter, and it's beautiful. It looks brand new. It's hardcover. Yeah. Like, amazing. And The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James. Nice. Yeah. Do you find hardcover books harder to read? Yeah. Yeah. I find them so hard to read because you can't, like, open the spine. Anyway, that was our book. Oh, no, for me. <laughs> I got Robert Frost's poems because it's Emily, or he's Emily's, one of your favorite poets and then i also got 1984 by george orwell which is my favorite book but my copy is drenched in coffee <laughs> and then i got a new earth by eckhart tolle that's Yay! your book haul <laughs> i just got back from my hike movie and emily i actually brought my camera but i forgot that i was charging the battery so i didn't bring the batteries after hiking we went to a bookstore that takes book donations and then when you buy from that store, they donate it to women's shelters, which is really awesome. But I just want to talk about how pretty these covers are design-wise. I love the beige color and the font of this Robert Frost poem book. I got this one for $2, which is awesome. And it's so aesthetically pleasing. My designer heart is so happy. 